improving the appearance of sun plasma and eventually removing them by using the sun remover is very easy. In this video, we're going to talk about how to remove sun plasma by using the sun remover. First of all, we'd like to point out that sun plasma are benign skin lesions removed only for aesthetic reasons. Also, there's many different ways to remove sun plasma and the use of the sun remover or cosmetic peels is only one of them. We have made three representations of sun plasma here. A, B and C. In sun plasma A, we can clearly see that the skin lesion grows inside the skin and it covers the area in the epidermis and also it pushes down the upper part of the dermis as well. So what you see is almost the tip of the iceberg. The same applies to sun plasma B. On the surface, sun plasma B seems quite small. However, it is much bigger than what it looks like. In sun plasma C, the sun plasma looks quite big. However, it's not as big as it looks because most of it is protruding from the skin and it's very, very shallow inside the skin. So, sun plasma can grow in different ways and depending on how sun plasma grow, you've got, you may require a number of treatments in order to remove them. Removing shallow sun plasma is much easier than removing deep ones. This is because, say for example, in sun plasma C, which is quite shallow, although it looks quite large from the outside, because it is quite shallow, when you apply the sun remover on top of it, the sun remover has access to most of it. Therefore, it can remove most of it within one application. So, within one to two applications, the sun plasma may have gone. Whereas, in case of sun plasma B, which is much deeper, but it looks smaller from the outside, when you apply it on top of it, it can only remove a small part of it. So what happens when the process of scabbing is over, that part that was very much underneath the skin will have gone up and the result is something of the sort. Therefore, from the surface, it looks as if the sun plasma is still there as it was before. However, what happens is that the sun plasma is actually smaller. So it will take a number of applications, larger number than a sun plasma like sun plasma C in order to remove a deeper sun plasma. So if a shallow sun plasma can be removed in one to two sessions, a deep one may require four to five or even more, depending again on how deep the sun plasma is. Although at the right concentrations and used in a certain way, TCA is very effective in removing sun plasma, we do not use it in the sun remover. We prefer effective peels that are much easier to control. And this makes the sun remover really effective in removing sun plasma and can be controlled really easily by wiping it off and rinsing the area with water. With a sun remover, the amount of sun plasma removed depends on the length of the application. Say for example, if you use the sun remover for 10 minutes, you'll have far more sun plasma removed than if you kept it only for five. So the longer you keep the sun remover for, the more sun plasma you're going to remove within that application. And this is what makes the sun remover so special. In the next slides, we're going to show you a case of sun plasma type B removed in stages by using the sun remover. And as you will see, after each application, the sun plasma are smaller.
So what is the difference between TCA and the sump remover? So let's look at the way TCA works for sump plasma removal. Let's assume first of all that we're using the right concentration of TCA and we're using it correctly. So what we're doing is we put petroleum jelly on the skin and we're going to leave the sun plasma exposed. Now, as we apply TCA, TCA will have the effect of removing the sun plasma, but unless we apply the neutralizer when the right time comes, uh, we'll also go through the dermis and stop at the mid part of the dermis, therefore increasing the risks of scarring. And this is why we made the sun remover because it is much easier to control than TCA and its effects with the sun remover can be stopped by wiping it off and rinsing it with water. With the sun remover, you're able to control the amount of sun plasma you remove per application by changing the length of the application itself. Say for example, if you keep the sun remover on for five minutes, you'd be able to remove this part of the sun plasma. But if you kept it for even longer, say 10 minutes, you're able to remove it even more. 15 minutes and you remove more. So the longer you keep the sun remover for, the more of the sun plasma you will remove per application. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video useful. Thank you.